Hey guys and welcome back to more with Moros. So today's video as you can see is going to be a Christmas decorate with me. I think by far these are my favorite videos to film and do even though it took me a really long time to get this video done. I'm going to give you guys a heads up. I filmed this over a four day period. I think it was just the combination of getting more decorations, trying to decorate around the kids, get things organized, cleaning at the same time, making sure the house looks good to make this video just took way longer than I expected. So I do wanna say thank you to everybody who has been patiently waiting for this video. I am so excited to finally be doing this video and getting it out there for you guys. So hopefully it will give you guys a little Christmas inspiration and get you in the mood for the holidays if you guys aren't already. I will say ahead of time, I am going to be linking everything that I did buy or that I can link in this video down in the description so don't forget to check that out down there i'm going to give you guys just a little video overlay of all of the decorations before we get into the details so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do you guys already know what to do give this video a thumbs up and i hope you guys enjoy Hey Google, play Christmas music. Here's a Pandora station called Today's Christmas Music. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. So I think out of all my decorations, half of them are new decorations and half of them are old decorations that I had over the year. My method to decorating is just go ahead and just lay everything out. Just lay it out wherever, on the counters, on the table. I had boxes and boxes and storage boxes of Christmas decorations to go through. I don't know, for me, I find that you can just kind of grab something, find a place for it, grab something, find a place for it. So laying everything first, I was ready to start decorating. So the first place that I started out decorating was the mantle. I feel like that's always everybody's go-to places where you can hang the stockings, put some garlands, put some decorative stuff. So this year I picked out a variety of Christmas trees that Target had. I get sucked into the new decorations every single year. Definitely leave in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys get sucked into it as well. Of course, I save all my decorations and I reuse them as much as I can, but they always come out with cuter stuff and these glitter trees were so pretty so i just kind of put a variety of them on to the mantle kind of arrange them i love that fair isle glass one as well i didn't want to put too much stuff on the mantle because we do have our tv right above the mantle so i just played it safe put a couple trees well i should say eight trees <laughs> eight christmas trees on the mantle and then also put our stockings on there as well and it's just crazy as i'm watching this that we have six stockings six stockings on her mantle it just makes my heart so happy and i'm so glad that i bought scarlet's stocking last year when i was still pregnant with her and we just went with really simple stocking holders since there is a lot of stuff already up there and i like i said i didn't want to make it too crowded but i do really love the stocking holders that have like little snowflakes or little houses i think those are really cute as well and then i added a garland on to the mantle you guys i think command strips needs to sponsor us because i use command strips and hooks for everything it's just a great way to leave your walls and surfaces damage free so i put a couple of the command hooks up there and just hung and draped the mary sign right over the stockings I 
I'm moving on to the living room. I got some new pillows from Target and I'm just taking a lint roller and just rolling off all the lint. Being that it was around a whole bunch of other pillows, there was a whole bunch of fuzz and everything on it. So I just wanted to clean them up a little bit and also take all the tags off. And the only thing that I really did in the living room was just add the pillows, add a blanket just to make it feel cozy. You know, the kids are always in the living room. It's like our main area. So I didn't want to put too much stuff in there. Hence why we don't even have a coffee table. We just like to keep it open so the kids can play or watch TV and just keep it simple. I worked my way up to the staircase. I am just using these reusable decorating ties to secure the garland onto the stairway. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. After putting up the garland, they're up right now, so we still have them. I honestly wasn't feeling this garland too much. Frank and I were thinking about getting real garland to drape on the stairway. We're just waiting for like the real trees to come out and be able to buy real garland. But you guys let me know, do you like it? I mean, I know it's my house. I have to look at it every day, but let me know how it turned out or if there's any way that I can improve it or I don't know, maybe I need to find another spot for it. I will say the decorating ties come in handy because they are clear so they're not as noticeable and it really helps secure the garland on there. And I just kind of fluffed it out a little bit. Our staircase is so awkward because it kind of goes up after you get past that rail and then we have all the rails upstairs so I'm thinking if I'm gonna put garland on the rail I need to put them on all right leave your input down below So the last thing I did, I guess technically on day one of decorating, I had to cut it a little short because the kids got cranky, but I just added some of these stems and greenery to this vase. I have like a little block of styrofoam at the bottom to keep them into place. And now moving on to day two, and I told you guys, I am obsessed with the command hooks. You can even buy the bigger ones that you see right now to be able to hang wreaths. So if you wanna put some in your house or even your front door, you'll be able to do that. And then I am making my way back to decorating the foyer and actually the the things that I'm decorating right now I ended up moving things around let me know if you guys are like this too I'll decorate something and then I will have to move it around a few times until I like it and then sometimes even then I'll change it again but I am just adding another garland onto our entryway table I get a lot of questions about that entryway table actually and it is from Wayfair it actually has a shelf on the bottom but we put too much shoes and too much weight on it that it ended up breaking so we just took it off and put a basket with some blankets underneath and there I am again adding another command hook but you guys I could put wreaths all over the house I think they are so cute on like a pantry door or on a back door or even like a garage door <laughs> Of course, it wouldn't be a Christmas decorate with me if we didn't decorate the Christmas tree. We have our huge, huge, humongous nine foot Christmas tree in the living room and then we did end up putting our other Christmas tree or old one I should say in the front room we didn't want to get rid of it because we still love it so much you guys will see that a little bit later or no we didn't we already decorated it never mind but you guys probably saw some b-roll of it 
but now it was time to decorate this Christmas tree and I went ahead and showed you guys some of our really special ornaments and we just decided to be very simple with the tree this year we got a whole bunch of white ornaments and then actually later on in the video you guys will see we did add a little bit of color and put some red ornaments on there this is probably my favorite Christmas tradition that we can do together as a family out of all the traditions is just getting together and decorating the Christmas tree and sorry if all the blinking lights sped up is bothering anybody I'm like looking back as I'm editing and I'm like okay that's a little annoying the tree is really awesome though because you can change so many different things if you guys are from our main channel and watch the vlog where we got the Christmas tree then you already know how awesome it is I got these battery operated candeliers years and years ago and I know for a fact they still have them they might just look a little bit different I actually ended up buying a few more I put these all in the front of the house and Nolan's bedroom he's gonna have one too like I said they are battery operated but they do have timers on them so I believe they're like six hours on and 18 hours off and you can set the timer so usually I just have them turn on around seven o'clock and I will say from experience and using them in the past the batteries do last a long time so even after Christmas I was able to take the batteries out and save them and use for other things that way you're not wasting them or they don't get ruined for another year so if you do get them that's just a tip just go ahead and take them out and then you can use them for other things as well Like I mentioned before, and by the way, this is day three of decorating, but like I mentioned before, we have so much railing on the stairs and you can even see like by the kids playroom so I am definitely gonna need some more garland I decided to add it like on the second set of stairs but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get either more of that garland or get the real garland like I was talking to you guys about and just putting it all over the railing and then I'm just taking these battery operated fairy lights I love these lights so much because they first of all they come with a remote so you can change them and I'll show you guys that in a little bit but you can literally put these anywhere you can put them around garland you could put them in wreaths you can even put them in vases and they also have different modes so you can also change the modes and there I am using command strips again but I'm just securing it to the rails that way it doesn't damage it I'm thinking if we do take the garland off I will find a new home for it and just end up getting some real garland but I am just wrapping the fairy lights around the garland just to kind of give it a little bit more pizzazz I think that's what I was trying to do I was trying to make it look better for myself because I really was not feeling it too much again you guys will have to leave your input if you have any suggestions I am so bad at garland I just feel like I needed either more of it or I don't know I don't know something's missing something is definitely missing for sure but I will recommend the fairy lights because like I said you can put those anywhere and I think they're so pretty for Christmas <music> we are moving on to day four the final day of decorating and I am moving my way into the dining room I decided this year I'm gonna do something a little bit different instead of having a centerpiece and just some placemats I decided to set it up like okay we don't have 
a formal Christmas dinner or anything or even Thanksgiving dinner at our house but I wanted to set it up like we were because I really like the thought of it I think it looks really pretty so I put a runner on the table some placemats and I already had that like block of wood you guys see in the middle from Nolan's birthday so I decided to put it in the center of the table to kind of go with the rest of the theme and I've had those napkins and napkin rings for the longest time and I have not used them. I think I've only used them once so I thought this would be the perfect time to go ahead and use them. I also added some chargers. I think that's what they're called, the bigger plates. Oh and I added those uh, little decorative sprigs as well. That was actually Aria's idea so I have to give major props and credits to her because she suggested to do that. Like I said I'm not setting the table for dinner. It's just mainly for decoration. We do use this table for dinner though and if the kids are sitting there instead of the island we just move it or just put it on the counter top and just put it back when we're done. have any Christmas signs and Frank picked out this Christmas tree sign and I decided to put it uh, by the stairs kind of like as you're going up the stairs and again you guys can see I love my command strips the best way to secure of course if it's like too heavy there is like a weight limit but it's the best way to hang stuff because you don't have to damage your wall at all I thought it was pretty funny because as I was pressing it onto the wall it looked like I was doing push-ups Frank said it looked like I was doing push-ups off the wall and now looking back it does and I was just cracking up. I also forgot to show you guys that little sign uh, to the left. It's the 12 days of Christmas. And I, for the longest time, I kept moving it around the house, but I really like that it's by the tree and that space is perfect for it. That is another thing that I got from Target. Like I said, I'm gonna try and link as much stuff as I can in the description down below. But like I said previously, we decided to add some more ornaments to the tree. We added some red ones just to give it a little bit of pop of color. And this is actually towards the end of the decorating video. This is the last thing that we ended up decorating. I totally forgot to show you guys our other Christmas tree that we have in the front room, but I will show some more B-roll after this clip. The kids put all of their Disney ornaments on that tree and I got a lot of pink decorations. It turned out really, really pretty, so I wanted to be sure to show you guys that. But you guys, I am so happy that I am finally getting this video up for you guys. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it up before December. I wanted to give you guys some inspiration for Christmas and decorating if you haven't already or potentially if you want to add more decorations to your home. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys are just excited for the holidays as we are. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys.